Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Today, we are at the MCG. I'm paired in the box here today with Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Cheers, hello. Today should be a great match. Today's big game is between Collingwood and Fessenden. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. Both four lines are in for a big day here. This could be a high-scoring affair, and both sides would want to make the most of their chances inside 50. for a big performance today. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains converge for the toss of the coin. Collingwood kicking to the right of screen. Round six. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. The opening siren is moments away, and you can feel the excitement building. One it down. Heppel with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Merrick wins the marking contest. Uses it now. Cox got under it. Works it across the ground. Marks now and can send it back. Elects to kick it long. A mark by Francis. Looks to move it by foot. Pendlebury marks. Tips it towards half forward. Easily takes the mark. To Goey to have the shot from outside 50. The ball ends up going to ground. Goes off the ground. Uses the bump. Ball stripped in the tackle. Just put it on the boot. Rushes with the kick. Puts on a bump. The loose ball scooped up. Picked off by Langdon. Hurried kick. The ball is picked up and kept alive. Fantasia going for number one. Doing well to intercept that kick. Moore puts it on the boot. Adams gets in a good position. Great mark under pressure. It's a turnover. Phillips got the hands free. McDonald Tip and Woody slots the goal. They get around him after that effort. Puts the first goal on the board. Big thump from Roughhead. Dugowie was taken high in the tackle. Sinks the slipper into it. Gleeson couldn't keep his hands on it. Ball collected. Chris kicks hurriedly. Ball spills. Scharenberg throws the ball away. Shield kicks it. Can't take possession. Loses control of the ball. He takes aim. Started the kick wide, and it never came back. The lead is now seven. Looking for options now. Decides to play on. Moore looking to rebound with this kick. Adams takes a strong mark. Got boot to ball. Good mark, and looks to send it back. Smith's using the play on. Taking a nice grab. 45 metres out. Stewart going for number one. That's a really poor finish there. Have to find a way to do better. 
Essendon by eight points. Players move as they look to provide an option. Moore works the ball out of the 50. Side bottom uses it by foot. A strong mark in the pack from Langdon. A spearing kick. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Chris with a poor kick out of play. Hurley keeping it low. Marked by Langdon. Chose to kick it. Ends up marking uncontested. Pendlebury moves it now. The mark is taken by Dugowie. Works it across the ground. Drops the mark. Hacking it out of there. The ball knocked out in the tackle. Here's Heppel. He gains possession. Goes by foot. Off the ground. And it's a goal for Townsend. He acknowledges the crowd. Essendon lead Collingwood. 14 to 0. Taps it down. Trelaw onto the ball. Great tackle. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Greenwood had it, lost it. Pendlebury goes with the kick. Francis elects it. Rough it now, heading to the bench for a break. The umpire will ball it up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Marks that ball uncontested. He drives it. Strong mark in the contest. Essendon have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Fantastic tackle. Puts it on the boot. Well collected. Handballs to a teammate on the run. It'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. Grundy got the tap. Danaher coming off for a spell. Ball up close to the boundary. Clears the contest. Saar tucks it into the pocket. Strong with the body and wins the mark. The Bombers are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. A chance to reload the attack now. Intercepts the ball well. Langford with a low spearing kick. Saar can link up through hands. Just gave it away. Adams gets on the end of that handball. Hooker just gets it onto the boot. Simply outplayed his opponent. Just gets a hand in. Push in the back. Cutler releases by hand. Well taken at ground level. Ball picked up. Seen plenty of it. Hit the man hard. McDonald tip and Woody links with a teammate who can run. Always look like a behind. The Bombers by 15 points. Moore ready to bring it back into play. Way on. Decides to kick. Gaz, what are your thoughts on that opening turn? Essendon have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Collingwood need to find the ball more. If they can get their hands on the ball, then they can start to create some chances. Cheers, Gaz. The second term ready to get underway. Ruffhead gets it down. Did well to control the ball. Cutler did well and won the free kick. Fails to fend off the tackler. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Ends up turning this ball over. Main drives the kick. Marks now and can send it back. Essendon have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Got hands to it. Quickly onto the boot. Smooth grabs that one. He drives it. Off hands from Langdon. Going for goal number one. 
Danaher slams it home from long range. This kick puts them further into the lead. He loved that one. That's three in a row for Essendon. Now they lead by 21. Thump clear with the ball is McGrath. Fends off the tackler. Side bottom, crosses off the tackle. Clears the congestion. The ball spells to Phillips. Manufactures the handball. Linking by hand. Slams it onto the boot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. A chance to put one through for his side. McDonald, Tip and Woody going for number two. Celebrating hard. The margin is 27. Grundy thumped it clear. Trelaw drives it out of the pack. Barco takes a strong mark. Goes by foot. Turned it over. And now Hurley, he has the ball. At full stride, receives the handball. Townsend wins the ball in the air. Elects to keep moving. Terrific mark there. Smith will kick from beyond the 50. He slams it towards goal. Smith has missed the lot. Out on the full. Langdon pushes a low ball. Marking in space was how. Sinks the slipper into it. Didn't fumble. Gets a quick kick away. Keeps it alive. And the ball ends up over the line. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Grundy thumps it clear. Chris gives the don't argue. He wins possession. The umpire calls for it. Grundy with the hit. Chris puts it on the boot. Francis wins the foot race. Kicks hurriedly. Side bottom gains possession. Cutler rushes with the kick. Couldn't take it. Just landed in his back. Beam for the spearing kick. They chase after the loose ball. Hammers it. Doing well was Adams. Grundy brings it out of the pack. Gathered by Cutler. Langdon wins it back, just gets it onto the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Handballs out into space, dishes it off to a player on the run. Is in his possession. Barco has a teammate on the move. Open opportunity for Goey. Collingwood would love to make the most of this opportunity. Bit of an angle for this kick. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Hurley getting a chance for a break. Stabs at the kick. He takes the mark. McKenna just put it on the boot. Does well to keep it in play. Couldn't go on with it. And the ball goes out. Toss back into play. Well picked up. Saad a bit too casual with the tackle. He likes his chances from here. Thomas puts it out on the full. Hooker elects to kick. Stands tall and marks. Did well to get a hand in. Moved on by Greenwood. Collingwood still a fair way back here. Hurley to bring it in. Pendlebury looks to get onto the football. McKenna lobs the handball. Stringer collects the loose ball. Stringer just threw it. Pulling this one through would give the Magpies plenty of confidence. Testing shot outside 50. Nice work for Pendlebury. Can he put it through? Does well to cut off the kick. Essendon are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beat in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Good mark by Smith. 
Looks up with the kick. Mops up the loose ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. The kick goes out on the fall from Merritt. Chris kicks it. Saar didn't mark it. Dugowie just too high with the tackle. Moves the ball by foot. McDonald tip and Woody has it. Testing shot outside 50. He gives it a ride. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. Three goals for him now. What an effort. Pretty happy with that one. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores. Essendon, 33. Collingwood, 1. Essendon have had a solid first half, and will look to show more of the same in the second. Time to take a look at the stats. Collingwood can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. Thanks, Gaz. Both sides taking a much-needed rest, ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Punches are clear. He's got the football now. Ball up calls. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Punches are clear. Well collected on the bounce. Ball up in the centre square. Punched away. Rough end. Comes away with the ball. Got the hands free. Side bottom. Hurried kick. He takes the shot. Missed from behind. Can't make the most of that chance. Collingwood close the gap to 31. Unsure of their next move. Plays on. Hurley is blowing hard after that effort. Maynard steals possession. Oh, someone's on the ground. Gaz, can you give us more on that? Yeah, definitely something wrong here. He's trying to get off the ground as quick as he can. Ball hits the deck. Won the hit out. Merritt going for number one. Side bottom's looking a bit sluggish out there. Ball gets cut off. He heads for home. The Bombers supporters delighted by that effort. Gets some reward for his efforts. Now they lead by 37. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Essendon got set up well and are able to cut off these kicks forward from the opposition. Picked up by Grundy. Sweeping handball. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. Adam celebrating hard. Collingwood still hopeful of reducing this margin. Clears the contest. Packs it out of air. Coughed up by Ambrose. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Barco puts it through. Boy, did they ever need that. Celebrating hard. Collingwood produced the margin. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. He did really well there and gets the reward. The Bombers are doing a good job at getting the ball forward. They lead the inside 50s and they're creating plenty of problems for the opposition defence. Chris drops the mark. Collected by Townsend. Well picked up. He looks like he needs a spell. Hurried kick. Winning the ball in the air was Daharakis. Decides to go. He's put it out on the full. Tips it towards half board. Stringick looking to track down the footy. Side bottom couldn't complete the tackle. Fantastic chase and tackle. Barco gets right in his face. Great tackle. 
Looks to move it by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Essendon Crow allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Saad missed an opportunity to mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. McKenna hacks it out of there. McGrath takes it strongly. Got boot to ball. It's a foot race to get this one. He's leading the ranking points. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Adams getting the crowd involved. Collingwood close the gap to 19. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Essendon are winning plenty of the ball at the moment and it's allowing them to create plenty of scoring opportunities. McKenna heading to the bench. Ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. We'll have another ball up. Essendon have been controlling stoppages and lead the clearances. If they can clean up their ball use after the clearance, they can give themselves a chance. The drop part goes straight between the big sticks. Danner loves that goal. The lead is now 25. Hammers it, has it now. Simply outplayed his opponent. Sear winds up and goes long. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Barco sends the drop punt on its way for another goal. He acknowledges the crowd. The Magpies behind by 19. That's a really good team goal. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Collingwood can't afford to be missing this many chances in front of goal. It might cost them the game. Hands that ball to the opposition. Dugowie quickly onto the boot. Saad will be upset with that. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Congratulated by his teammates. Collingwood reduced the margin. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Essendon have got on top in the clearances, but they're not in the scoreboard. If they can find a way to use their clearance ability better, they will find themselves in front. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Stringer earns a free kick. Hooker struggling to run at the moment. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. Essendon, but 14. More with the responsibility of kicking it in. Chose to kick it. String it running off for a break. We'll get a stoppage. Winning it was rough hand. Goes off the ground. Trelaw needs a chance to rest. He's got the footy in his hand. Takes possession. How? Dug it out. Townsend gets a quick kick away. Fancy footwork, and it's a goal to Danaher. That pushes the lead further out. He celebrates hard after that. Essendon lead by 20. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive.
The Bombers are leading the contested ball numbers. It's always the starting point for a coach to find how well they attack the contest. And we'll get a ball up. How with the punch. Ends up with Shield. Merritt having a big game. He has been outstanding here, Hutto. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Stewart decides to go it alone. Offline for a behind. Essendon beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 53 to 32. Maynard was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Sear used the body to take that mark. Uses it across half back. A chance to reload the attack now. Should be relatively straightforward from here. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable! And they put it through. This kick stretches the lead. Stewart loved kicking that one. Essendon have kicked the last two goals. 27 points the difference. The handball hits the target. Zaharakis rushes with the kick. How did you see the third term, Gaz? Essendon believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Let's check out the stats. Essendon have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Much appreciated, Gaz. Umpire ready to begin the final turn. Thump clear, applying the physical pressure. A great mark taken there. 50 metres from home. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Looking to kick goal number two. Stewart missed everything. He's put it out on the full. How drives it long. Dugowie couldn't hang onto the ball. Langdon just gets it onto the boot. A strong pack mark. Essendon just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Couldn't snap it. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Barco. Collingwood now only trailed by 21. Some great ball movement there. Just knew they were going to score. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Collingwood have been careful with their ball movement, taking plenty of uncontested marks and looking to find targets in space. Gives it to Danaher. He gets another possession. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Intercepts the ball well. Langdon elects to kick it long. Gets the loose ball. Turned it over. Saad uses it by foot. Great mark under pressure. 50 metres from home. Stewart looking to put through another goal. Essendon Lee Collingwood by 22. Essendon have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Releases the handball. Beam finds possession. Quick hands and they could be away here. He decides to go for home. That one hits the woodwork. Unable to take that opportunity. Collingwood closed the gap to 21. Hookack with the responsibility of kicking it in. Gets into a good position to take that. Kick by Ambrose. String expels it. Barco might have overworked himself there. Langford making his way onto the field. 
And now we will get a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Danner doesn't take the mark. Charges with intent. Sockers it forward. Maynard decides to soccer it. He's having a big game right now. He just keeps finding the footy. Nice mark under pressure. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Essendon forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Barco tries his luck at goal. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. That's four goals. They get around him after that effort. That's two in a row for Collingwood. Collingwood reduced the margin. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That's a really good team goal. Thrashes it. They can create from this. Missed the target. Greenwood flicks it over. At full stride, receives the handball. Great mark in the pack. Cox has resources out wide. Collingwood fans would love to see this one sail through. The kick from out. Adams got hands to it. Stringer keeps coming. He wins possession. Finds this and marks well. Maynard has resources out wide. Beam there to mop up. Francis coming on. Essendon could win the clearances, but they haven't been effective and they haven't turned them into scoring opportunities. Langford moves it now. It's a turnover. Langdon slams it onto the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. McGrath goes with the kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Chooses to play on. It's cut off by Jarenberg. Decides to soccer it. Side bottom short by hand. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Contest the hard ball. Clears the ball from the contest. Just gives it away. Just puts it out in front. Just gets it onto the boot. Found space for an easy mark. Going for goal number three. What a kick. And he puts it through. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood have three in a row. Just under two goals the difference now. Shield kicks hurriedly. Kicks hurriedly. He's a beating brilliantly with Maynard. Does well to get it out. Now we'll get a ball up. Ruffin with a big fist on it. Goes for territory. Greenwood off the deck. Saar gains some territory. With the ball is Beams. The umpire calls for it. Ruffin hurls it away. Ruffin unable to hold on. Great grab. A long driving kick. Spent that one before he earned it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Cox with quick hands. Thomas picks up the loose ball. Spins past with determination. Swats it. He has the ball. Will get a stoppage. Thumps it clear. He's got the footy in his hands. Trelaw won himself a free. Needs a bit of a rest. Going for goal number one. That kick has missed. Collingwood now only trailed by eight. Teammates break for him. Decides to play on there. Puts it on the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Opportunity now for Greenwood.
Green was celebrating hard. We came here hoping for a close game, and that's exactly what we got. Well, Gaz, how did you see that match play out? Teams are made in games like this. I know it can be a moment that takes teams to the next level. They put it all on the line, and they deserve to win. Cheers, Gaz. At the final siren, it's Essendon defeating the Magpies 9 6 60 to 9 4 58. That's the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Thanks, Hanno. Until next time. Bye.